We generally ignore the fact that we are surrounded by power meters. They blend into the background, silently monitoring our consumption of energy. How much do they know about our daily lives? Who can access that information? And where is the technology heading? Hi, I'm Hash. In this episode, I'll give an overview of how smart meters work. I'll be sharing more episodes about reverse engineering them and how they communicate over a massive mesh network. So if you have questions or particular things you're curious about, comment below. In order to run some interesting experiments, we'll need multiple meters and a Faraday cage so we can power them up and let them transmit without interfering with the actual smart meter network. In order to do that, we will have to disable their RF amplifiers to reduce the output so the signal doesn't escape the cage. But that's for another episode. When I was initially interested in smart meters, I wondered how could I experiment with them? It's hard to hack hardware if you can't get your hands on any. I found you can purchase a lot of the components that make up a smart meter network on eBay. Some obscure items like the routers and collectors show up less often, but meters are generally available all the time. If you know who buy these and why, please comment below. I find it hard to believe power companies are shopping for spare meters on eBay. The Faraday cage was also purchased on eBay. This one is pretty cool, with a window so I can see in, and metal mesh gloves so you can interact with devices while they are sealed inside. Some refurbishing work was done to replace metal mesh gaskets and ensure the RF seal was sufficient in the 900 MHz ISM band where these meters transmit. The readings are sent from one meter to another until reaching a router or collector up on a pole. This is referred to as a geographic routing protocol. From there, it goes back to the power company over a cellular or hardwired connection and is used for billing and to monitor the health of power distribution and any outages. The meters can also be sent a signal to turn power on or off remotely in minutes. So make sure you pay your bill on time. You might be surprised to know, you can see the power usage data from any meter. The meter ID that's listed on the front of every meter is clearly shown in the data, along with power usage information. You can see anyone's power usage. If you are within the path, they report back their data and log it over time the same way the power company does. In a future episode, we'll walk through exactly how this is done and see live power meter data. How do you get this information? It just comes to you. This stuff just flies through the air. They send this information out, I mean, it's just beamed out all over the place. You don't have to just know how to grab it. See on how to grab it. If you look around at power poles while driving, you'll see the routers all over the place. I started marking Google Maps every time I saw one when driving down the road. At first, I thought it was so cool to spot one, but after a while, I realized they're everywhere, and my Google Maps was starting to get cluttered. Here is a signal capture from my software-defined radio showing every transmission between 902 to 928 MHz. The little blips you see are mostly power meter transmissions. Where I live, I can log in and see my power usage in one-hour increments. But when we monitor the frequency range they transmit on, you can see data is being sent all the time. My guess is they have to stagger the meter transmissions so millions of meters aren't trying to report usage simultaneously. Overall, I think you will find the smart grid is super interesting. The equipment is designed and sold with a proposed life of 10 to 20 years, meaning we can leisurely reverse engineer it in our spare time, and it's not going to see massive changes every year like the consumer industry. Although, from a cybersecurity perspective, that should give whoever is responsible for securing this a panic attack with each passing year. The latest version of smart meters can report a lot more than just usage. They are capable of understanding very short power fluctuations that happen any time devices turn on or off and learn exactly what devices those are. This means the power company doesn't just know how much power you use, they know exactly what you are using and when you are using it. Unfortunately for us, 
These meters aren't for sale on eBay. Yet. If you're interested in reverse engineering, I encourage you to check out the Richesum Wiki. I post all of my reverse engineering projects there, along with other people who are into reverse engineering. Create an account and share your own project, or contribute to one already there. In the next episode, I'll show you how I built a receiver using open source tools that let us watch anyone's power usage by the minute. Stay tuned. If you turn off the lights and walk away, I'll know.